Hey Scorpio, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot. Welcome to your energy reading. So let's get started with a few oracles. Spirit, what is the energy of Scorpio? What's the energy of Scorpio? And we have success. It says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Okay, so I feel like there is a need to um, get back to basics and be focused on, you know, your self-love, the love of those around you, and prioritize that over maybe success in maybe defining success a little different for yourself. You know, maybe it's it's not about abundance. It's about fulfillment um, with healthy relationships. Okay, so what else do we have? We have action. Action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Okay, so I feel like there is a need to really make this a priority and you are being called into action. So let's see how this is playing out for you, Scorpio. Oh, it came out. So we have the Hermit here. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but it's about that internal um, soul searching, that internal journey. Um, could be just a need for meditation. Okay, and we have the Eight of Cups moving on. Yeah, needing to look at leave a situation that is unfulfilling and this could be in work this could be even in um love so i feel like there is a need to do some soul searching to figure out what is it that you really desire and are you getting that in your current situation whether this is work or a relationship okay and we also get the seven of cups daydreams and decisions so being very truthful with yourself. Like, are you getting fulfillment? This can be about illusion. And, you know, this could be about thinking, you know, I'm doing so well at my job that, you know, I don't need love. I don't need anybody. And although we may not rely on others, I feel like there is a human need to connect and have partnerships. Um, obviously, we have to get to a place where we are fulfilled um, even when we are independent and alone. But ultimately, um, I, believe, I believe that we are meant to be in partnerships and share that connection with others. Um, share that inner abundance with others. Okay, so why is action here for Scorpio? And we have the Empress. Okay, so this is about taking action to create that abundance within yourself by nurturing yourself. Okay, so we have the Hierophant. So it could be dealing with a Taurus, but this is, you know, it says teach. So I feel like um, there could be, you know, a mentor or someone, a spiritual guide um, this could be just having faith. I feel like um, there's something for you to learn about yourself. And it could be on this internal journey. And you may be, you know, when we talk about moving on, this could be about moving on from a certain mindset. And cutting through the illusion that happiness comes from material things. What else do we have? And we have the Five of Swords, which is coming up for a lot of people. All the readings so far, this has come out. And I have shuffled well. So I feel like this is also about that, you know, that internal mind game. Okay, so...
this is about getting in your own way in a sense. It's about, about feeling like, you know, it's all about winning, right? But what is that bringing you? Is it bringing you emotional or spiritual fulfillment? Is it, uh, sorry, that ring light. Ugh. Um, is it deepening the connection that you have with spirit? Is it bringing you that, that feeling of feeling supported and nurtured and growth? Are you, are you experiencing growth internally? All right, let's clarify these. So why is this hermit card here? for Scorpio and we have the three of swords so I feel like there's a need for healing and I and I think that this could be what you may be avoiding is there was some type of heartbreak right and I feel like there's a need to go within and really um, allow that healing journey to begin and it may be moving on from your current situation. And it could have even been heartbreak within, um, you know, with, at work. I mean, it could have been, or it could have been financially. But I get that this could definitely be about a partnership here. Why is this Eight of Cups here for Scorpio? And we have Death. So it's about completing a cycle. Okay, and allowing that transformation to carry you towards that new beginning, that new um, new perspective, right? So why is the Seven of Cups here? And this is a major, a major completion and, and a major transformation for you. What is the Seven of Cups about? And we have judgment. So I'm getting that this is about you having many options. And some of them, you know, I feel like spirit is calling you to something in particular. It's about being open and being able to use your intuition to clearly see and make a decision about where you're going moving forward, right? This is about that. Um... You know, you see this, there's this level of introspection happening in order to clearly see what you're being called into action to do. All right, so why is this Empress card here? Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like this is a need to... Um, the two of pentacles for me is about, uh, not being on solid ground, kind of fumbling through things and, you know, um, not being real clear on your priorities, but still trying to move forward. And, you know, I feel like there's a juggling of seeds here and it's about planting them and allowing them to grow. So this could be about, you know, stopping and getting grounded and laying roots somewhere. You could be, um, you could be, it's almost like you're allowing the, uh, the ups and downs of life to kind of control you day to day. And it's about taking control of that, right? All right. So why is this here front here? And we have the Strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo here. Okay. So I feel like there is a... need for inner strength, a need to build your faith. And that's where the strength card comes in, is recognizing your own inner strength. Okay, why is this five of swords here? 
we have the Ace of Pentacles. So if this is in regard to a job, I feel like it's almost about um, a new opportunity being presented to you. But this is about your abundance. It's about bringing forth possibly a new idea into life and not getting in your own way. Recognizing where you're going to have growth. Recognizing the potential that you have um, moving forward. And I feel like you're, you should be seeking ultimate fulfillment within because that's how you know that you are aligned with your life purpose. You know that you're aligned with where spirit is trying to guide you. That's that inner knowing of filling your cup overflow, right? Okay. And that's what you're being called to take action towards right here. Okay. Let's get a guardian angel message to give us some guidance here. What message do we have for Scorpio? Okay. And we have love. Negative thoughts and feelings are sabotaging your pursuit of happiness. We, your angels, are here to help you heal. Allow our healing light to flow through your heart. Consciously infuse each negative thought or feeling with love and light. Feel both your heart and mind aligning to your soul's sacred purpose and unleash your divine potential through the power of love. I mean, <laughs> this so sums up this entire reading, but I feel like, look at this. I mean, you almost could overlap these cards. It's the same thing here. It's about having death before facing judgment, but this is the rebirth here. This is the rebirth. And so I feel like you have a lot of options in front of you. And I feel like there's also a need to, this is in regard to your life purpose for sure, but I feel like it's about using your intuition and really connecting with the option that is right for you. You're being spiritually guided to move towards this. Okay, so let's get some daily healing. Let's get some daily healing um, cards for Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do we have for Scorpio? I love this guardian angels message okay and this is the one that came out it says acquire gratitude for life itself beautiful what else do we have Okay, and we have this lush green one. And it says, use equanimity to calm your emotions. Equanimity. It doesn't roll off the tongue too great. That's about balancing your emotions. And then we have this one here. And it says, work daily towards improving your mental health. Beautiful. All right. Those are the messages that came through for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.